Let's sit up tall. Bring your feet on the floor, toes pointing straight ahead. Keep your hands on your lap. Take a little look over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Again, look over the right shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. Look straight ahead, drop the chin to your chest. Lift the chin up only where it's appropriate for your neck and do that again. So sometimes I keep mine smaller when you look up because you don't wanna pinch the nerves, the blood vessels down the back of your neck. Let's do that one more time. Drop the chin, lift the chin, look straight ahead, drop your arms by your side, take a little shoulder roll. Shoulders up, back, and down. From the shoulder roll, it's shoulder shrugs. Slide your shoulders up. Squeeze them together here, palms front. Bring it down. Shrug up, squeeze together, slide down. Couple more times. Lift and lower. Lift, squeeze. Full shoulder roll. Take the arms up and around. Up and around. Open your arms up to the side, lift your chest, feel the opening. Hug, right arm on the bottom, little hug. We're not staying here, open it up. Left arm, hug on the bottom. Again, same thing, open, right arm, bottom. Open, left arm, bottom. We do that one more time, open, right arm on the bottom, Keep the hug, drop the elbows, and now lift the elbows. Little drop and lift. There's your drop and lift. Two more times, down and up. Open up the arms, we have the other side, left arm is on the bottom, and there's the drop. And the lift. Little drop of the elbows, lift it up. Take it down and up. Down, up. Let's do that one more time. Open up the arms, bring the hands to the back of your chair, lift your chest, lift your chin. Look straight ahead, sweep your arms up, drop the fingertips. Here comes that lift and lower. Now we're working wrist and forearms. Flip your wrist each time. There's your float up and float down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Bring it up. Hands are going to come right behind your head. Open up the elbows. Here's your little twist right. Twist left. Do it again. Twist right, twist left, center, left elbow taps the ceiling, right elbow goes up. So mine's not going up that high. This is more of a stretch. There's the elbow lift, elbow lift. Let's do that one more time on each side. Meet in the center, a little upper body twist here. Take it a little mobility here. Do that one more time on each side. Big opening. Bring yourself to center. Drop your fingers to your shoulders. Here's your elbow circles. Take it up and around. I want you to circle back so you can open up the chest. Take a couple big inhales. Full arm circle this time, straighten the arms, bring them up and around, up and around. There's your up and around. Bring your hands to your lap, cow cat. Now we're moving through the spine, chest opens. This is for a focus on the back side though. There's that lift up of the chest, inhale. Here's that round, really move your spine. We want to keep movement all the way from the tailbone up through your neck. And when I say that where it's appropriate for you, I know we've all had different 
Things happen with our back. So you're going to do the part that works best for you. Now you're going to bring yourself right into the center, drop your hands to the outside, gentle twist here. There's your twist off the one side. Here's your twist off to the other side. Bring it to center, right arm sweeps up, keep it up, drop the hand behind, and there's a little extra stretch. Switch sides, right arm down, left arm goes up, hand comes behind your head, a little extra. Let's do that one more time. Arm goes up, hand behind the head. Here's a lift. Other side, sweep up, bend, and lift. Bring yourself down, lift the right leg, add some ankle circles. Loosen up the ankle, change direction. Ankle circles are a great way to keep circulation all the way to the toes. Switch feet. So what I'm saying is good move to do throughout the day. Just lift the leg, take your circles, change directions. Lift the right leg, big or small, we're gonna do this a few times. Foot goes down, switch sides. You know, big or small, where it works best. Here comes hug, bring it in. And switch, hug, bring it in. We'll do this one more time each side. And from here, we move into our hip circles, circle the right leg out, slide it in so you get mobility through your hip, switch legs, circle and slide, and switch. So big or small, we do this in every class so we keep that movement through your hip joint. You know if it's appropriate, you know what size works for you. Reverse the move, slide out, circle in, same idea. A little different though, when we go in the opposite direction. Let's do one more on each side. Feet are going to stay wide, bring your hands to your thighs, circle your upper body. And this is always meant to feel good. Some of us are gonna like scoop down because that feels really good. Some higher, I change it. Some days bigger feels good. Some days smaller is way better. Change direction, take it around in the other direction. Keep your hands on your lap and a lean forward. Drop the right shoulder. This is mobility for the upper back. Bring it to center. And I emphasize that one of the places we get tight as we age is the upper back. I bring this in so you can just drop the shoulder, kind of see if you can move through your upper back. And here comes the other side. And I'm gonna add fold, forward fold, wherever that is for you. And by now you know, I stay high. You go as low as feels good for you. Then you would bring yourself up. Take your feet out in front, toes are up, arms are in front, move your ankles and your arms together. Little upper body movement together. But I am using this, this is chest and back with your arms. Shins and calves as your feet go up and down, ankles, kind of warming everything up all together. Slide the feet in, stretch out your fingers. Let's go ahead and lift your heels. Lift your toes, make a fist. And here comes hands and legs working together, getting the ankle movement. Fingers. Keeping the movement in your fingers. One more time. Wrist circles. Take your wrists around in one direction. Wrists in the other direction. Out, out, in, in. Arm and legs move together. There's your out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. If you want to go bigger, go bigger. Here's your bigger movement, smaller movement, whatever works for you. One more time, 
March in the center, just pump your arms right here. There's your march. Now remember your options. You can keep your toes down, lift the heels, or you can make it bigger. There's your march, march, march. Just giving yourself full body movement here. And now, out, out, in, in, but I want you to go left first. Take the left, out, out, in, in. We're coming back to this movement, out, out, in, in. Again, maybe you make it bigger. Whenever we raise our arms up high, you're increasing the intensity. That means you're gonna find the intensity that works for you. Of course, we have to keep our shoulders in mind, what works. You can always do just the upper body, just the lower body. Here comes that march in the center, march it in the center. This time I want you to march on just your toes. So right here is you're gonna march on your toes. And let's march on our heels. Now march on your right heel, left toe. There's your march here. Switch it up, left heel, right toe. And now you're going to march, your regular march, whatever that is for you. And tap the heel front. Take a little tap and tap. Let's punch front. So push front as you do this, toes up. Keep the heel going front, arms are going to the side. Little difference, feet front, arms side. Now keep the arms to the side, tap the toe back. There's your back and back. And now you can drop your arms, press your elbows back right there is that, press back, press back. Arms go back to the side. There's your side raise as you tap back. We are going to stop our feet. You can stop your arms. Bring yourself forward. So arms are gonna reach forward. And you're gonna take, keep the right hand to the front, sweep the left arm back. We did this the other day. This is for your shoulders. And then you're going to sweep them through. And I'm gonna have you rotate that front arm. And then you're gonna rotate. So think a little rotation through the shoulder. Palm is up in the front, up in the back. Palm is up in the front, up in the back. So you're going to sweep forward back, scoop it forward back. There's your four, three, two. Hands can come to your thighs. Bring yourself up, cross your arms in front. I'm gonna add a little core here. Slide back, hold it. Now hold, pull in the belly, stay strong. Add a sit up, lean to the front. Reach your arms to the front. I want you to think core here. And then take it off diagonal. Try to reach a little bit further, but keep it in the core. Bring it to center. Take it off to the other side. Reach, reach, reach. Bring it back to center. Arms stay out as you lean back. And then maybe your fingertips go up a little bit. There's your strong center. Keep the arms up, sit up tall. Lift the right knee, drop the left arm. Lift the left knee, drop the right. So now we're doing our little opposite arm, opposite leg. We're starting from a different position. Sometimes that means we have to focus, use our brain a little bit more when we do opposite arm, opposite leg. Little change, take the elbow across, little diagonal across. It doesn't have to touch, you can keep it smaller. Here's your reach. Now let's keep the knee coming up, but take your arms and cross them in front right here so you can add a little twist in knee, twist in knee. There's four, three, two, and go ahead, relax it here, feet down, arms down. Grab a sip of water. We're gonna do our chair squat. We'll bring it up to standing then. Take a sip first. 
Push your feet into the floor, push down, push down, push down. Keep pushing and use that to bring yourself up. If you need to use the chair, use it. Otherwise, there's your lift up. Bring yourself next to your chair. Today, we're gonna to start with strengthening exercises for our legs. I'm gonna hold on to the chair. You can stand, start with whichever leg you want. This is where we bring the knee up a little bit. And I want you to push the heel up. Now I'm keeping my leg, I don't know, halfway. You can bring the leg up higher, right? And you can press out. I'm going to stay a little bit lower because today that is what works for me. And you're going to take yours at whatever level works for you. You're going to push. The goal is to work the quadricep. Sometimes I do this in the chair. Today I decided to do it while we're standing. And there's your push the heel. Let's do that one more time. Push the heel. And then add little leg swings. Loosen it up. Loosen it up. Right there. Let the leg relax. Maybe tap it out if you felt a little burning. Relax that side and you get ready for the other side. So there's that lift, big or small. Stand up tall. Push the heel front. Bring it in. Push and bend. I want you to think more of push through the heel and use the thigh, the front of your thigh, your quadriceps. That's different than pushing your knee joint. Our knees are joints. We have all these muscles we can use. Let's use them and then they protect our knee joint. There's your three, two, leg swing is here. This is your chance, loosen it up. And if you wanna tap it out because it felt a little burn in there, a little tension, Feel free to do that. There is your swing so you can loosen up the leg. Set the foot down, add in some hip circles. There you go. Just a chance, a little bit more loosening for the hips, the back. Change direction. Here is your march. We're gonna march it out. There is your march. And I'm going to have you march on your right toe and then your left heel. It's right toe, left heel. So it's a little, I guess, wobbly march. And now you're going to switch. You're going to march on your left toes, right heel. Or whatever version of this that works for your body. There's, and feel free, hold on to a chair if you want. And then march it out flat here. Give yourself a little march, march, march. And think of it, relax, because we're going to come back to some strengthening. We just did our quadriceps. I want to strengthen our hamstrings and our glutes. So we're going to do this. I'm going to hold on to the chair. I'm going this way so you can see. Standing on one leg, we're going to start. Leg is straight, and you just do a little lift so you can squeeze the butt. It's a little lift. If you feel it in your low back, you're trying to lift too high. I want you to feel it right in your butt. One way to make sure you're there, take your hand and touch your glutes. And that way you can feel the lift and the lower. It's a small move. And I'm trying to keep my leg straight. That's what my straight leg looks like when it's behind me. You're gonna do one more. And now you're gonna bend the leg and take a little push back, push into the wall behind you. Again, not our low back, so you're gonna have to pull your belly in, and you're gonna keep the movement small. You have one more little push back here, and then do a little squeeze up, squeeze up, squeeze up, squeeze up. There's your five. So now we're getting more hamstring and butt. You have one more little squeeze here. And then shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. We have the other leg to go. Give this leg a break because now you got to stand on it, right? After we use a quadricep and hamstring, it gets a little fatigued. Again, I'm holding on to my chair for balance. There's that lift and tap down. Lift. 
So remember, and I, I emphasize this a lot because I don't want you lifting with your back. I want you to squeeze the butt. That means our range of motion might be small. There's your five, four, three, two. And now you're going to bend the leg. Here comes the bend. And it's that little push back, push back, push, push two more here. And then the next way is that little squeeze up. So think of a little pulse and pulse so you can get your hamstring. Squeeze, squeeze. Now, strong glutes are great to protect our low back. We wanna keep our bones strong and that'll help with low back issues. You're gonna take one more, set the foot down, and we're gonna reverse this, cross the arms in front, feel free to hold onto the chair if you want. It's your like little deadlift, so you're gonna push the hips back. Maybe you push, you might stop a little bit higher and then bring it up. Here's your reminders. Keep the knees slightly bent. I want this work to happen in the hamstrings, that's what we just worked. Your glutes, it strengthens your core, and it also strengthens our low back. But I like to mention, I don't want the low back to be the main muscle group here. I want you to really use the legs, right? Get the back of the legs and bring it up. We'll do three more. There's your three. Now we take our time. I do that so you can mentally focus on this hinge and bring it up. Let's do that one more time. Now when you finish this one, stay up. We're going into our step touch side to side. I'm going to be behind my chair and there's your step touch and step touch. You can keep it smaller. Maybe you push your arms to the front. You can keep it step up and over, depending how you feel today. Mine is mid-range. Sometimes I go bigger. Today I'm keeping it a little bit smaller. This is part of every day we're different. So what is best for today? Here's your up and over. We'll do one more each side. We can stay behind our chair. I am gonna come off to the side a little bit. We're gonna do a side leg left because I want you to work the outer part and we're gonna cross the leg in front. You're gonna take it out and sweep it across. There's your out and across. So think outer hip, thigh, inner. Resist out. Resist it. Here's heel goes out, arch, squeeze across. I'm using my own resistance. Resist out, squeeze in. Resist out, squeeze in. There's your out and in, out, and let's do one more. And then, yes, I know your standing leg is doing some work because it's stabilizing you. Shake it out. We have the other side to go. Here it comes. Foot is out, squeeze it across. Foot is out, squeeze it across. Again, I'm not worried about height. Don't really care how high you go. I want you to think of resistance and strengthening here. There is your out and your in. There's five, four, three, two, one more time. Then when you finish that, step your feet out wide. Take some side lunges. Now feet are wide enough and that side lunge, use it, pause, give yourself a little stretch and then take it over to the other side and give yourself a stretch. Take it to one side, feel the stretch. If you want to lift the toes on the other side, that might feel good today or not. I always like to say, you know, all our bodies are different. So I often um, prefer not to lift my toes, 
today is one of those days. It feels good for me, but that doesn't mean that Tuesday it will. There's your side to side. We're going to do one more on each side. And then give yourself a nice little stretch. Have your toes face the front, push your hips back. We did the good mornings, we did the hamstring work. Give yourself a stretch, feel the stretch down the back of the legs. Then start bringing yourself up. And we're gonna do our tightrope walk around our chair. Use your chair if you like for balance. And you're walking heel toe around your chair. We try to keep our chin level and your gaze forward. Um, we like to look down, but let's see if we can look straight ahead today. Use your peripheral vision. And we take it all the way around. Now, if you get around your chair quicker than me, we'll all meet in a march. If you're taking it a little bit slower than me, then we are all going to meet in a march. We're going to hold a march here. Once you finish your walk around your chair, there, and like I said, take your time. You might have been quicker than me, and you're already marching. You might be catching up as you take your, finish your walk around your chair. The little march, I'm using it more as, let's just like let everything relax. And we're gonna do our marching forward back here. Here comes your walk to the front. Use the space you have. Walk to the back. I'm gonna use the space I have all the way back in my cubby here. There's your forward and back. This is really so that we can practice walking backwards. Um, it's great uh, if you have a wall nearby, you can always hold on to your wall as you go forward and back. If that, make, that helps make the movement better for you. We're gonna meet next to our chair. And yes, I'm gonna come into our static balance holding. I bring this in every class. It's a chance for you to really work on our balance twice a week. Chair is here if you want it. Knee lift is where we're going. So toes could be down. They could be up. Fold your chair if you want. Look straight ahead. Now, 15 seconds is how long we're holding this today. Set the foot down. Take it over to the other side. Here comes your balance. And remember, you can always use the chair if you want. And I will mention um, that we did quadricep work. We did hamstring work. When we when I do that first, your legs might get a little bit more tired, which means your balancing is a little different. Set the foot down, we take it to the other side. Here comes the foot behind. So toes down, and there's the hold up. So if your balance is off, keep in mind it can always be things like if your legs are more tired, if you're dehydrated, if you're tired. Drop this foot, get ready, take it to the other side. What I'm trying to say is we have to be nice to ourselves. Our balance sometimes is unpredictable. So that's why we practice this, so that we can get a feeling of what it's like on good days and off days. And you can go ahead, set the foot down. We're gonna take some hip circles. I want you to loosen up your hips, take it around in one direction. And then you take it around in the other direction. We're gonna add a little bit of a quadricep while we're standing here. Now remember your quadricep is when you bring your heel towards your butt. Now maybe that's not for you. Um, you could hold on to your pants. You might feel the stretch there or you could take the leg across the front of the chair and just give yourself, I'm not gonna stay too long, give yourself a little stretch here, and then you're gonna take it on the other side. I'll do the version with my leg on the chair, but feel free, grab your foot, your um, pants, if that version works for you. Then go ahead, release it, shake it out, 
have a seat on your chair, grab a sip of water. I do want to get some of our strength training in. We're going to use our hand weights real quick. Just get some of our basic upper body strengthening in. We're going to start with a row. One weight in each hand. And for your row today, we're going to push one arm down and pull the other one up. You have to be far enough forward on your chair, feet are flat, arms by your side, lean forward. Push down, pull up. Push down, pull up. It's a push and pull, push and pull. Push and pull, push and pull. So we want to think. Use the back, elbow slides up. We're good at rowing. We do this twice a week. But then I would say push down, pull up. Push down, pull up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring yourself up. Set the right weight on your right thigh. Lift the heel at a bicep curl. So now it's a bicep curl and a little heel lift. So we're working our bicep. And now as you lift your heel up and down, you're adding a calf strengthener. There's your lift and lower. We'll do five more here. There's your five. Here's your four. It's three, two. We switch sides. That means the left weight is on the thigh. And there comes heel and bicep, heel, and so calf strengthener here, bicep as you lift and lower, lift and lower. Five, four, three, two. Side raises together here. The feet can stay down. One weight in each hand. Elbows lift and bring it down. Lift and bring it down. There's up and down. Up and down. Five. Four. Three, two, weights are staying down. Palms are gonna face back. Add your little lean forward and then a little lift and lower. Lift and lower. Think upper back triceps here as you lift and lower, lift and lower. Five. Four, three, two, sit up tall, let your arms come by your side, add a little shoulder shrug, shrug up and bring it down. Shrug up, bring it down. Little shrug and think more shoulder blades, slide up your back and down your back. We'll do one more. And once you finish that, set just one weight down. Set one weight down out of the way. Grab the other weight. We're going to do our little diagonal across and add a little circle. So here comes that diagonal across. That's core, shoulders, bring it up, feel the core work. Add a little half halo. And here's your diagonal. So when your arms are away from your body, lots of core work. And there's your little half circle. Shoulder work. There's your cross. Bring it up. Little circle. 
take it across, bring it up, half a circle, down, up, circle, down, up, circle. We'll do that one more time. Here's, and when I say that, oh, I make sure we catch both sides. Take it around. Here's the other side. And then once you finish that, go ahead, bring the weight in front and add some circles in front of you. So range of motion for our shoulder joints, meaning maybe you keep it smaller. Maybe you can make it a little bigger as you take it up and around, up and around. We have to take it in the other direction, whatever size that circle works for your shoulders. Take it up and around, up and around. We'll do one more, and then we set the weight down, and let's stretch everything out. Set the weight down, it's out of your way. Grab a sip of water one more time. We're going right into our hamstring stretch. We worked our hamstrings today. So feet, I'm gonna take both the feet out. Make sure you're far enough on your chair, but here's that little lean forward. So you get a stretch wherever it feels good. Slide the right, the left leg in. Take it down again. If you wanna reach, go for it, but you don't have to. Switch legs, take it to the other side. I, I always say that if you want to reach, reach. It's not for me, uh, much like dropping my head isn't for me, but it could be for you. So you got to kind of take what works for you. Bring yourself up. I do want to stretch the quadricep one more time. This is when we're off the side of the chair. I'm coming off the front so you can see. You're trying to get this big, like, stretch down the front of the thigh. And sometimes the best way to get that, you have to pay attention. The, the foot in front needs to be flat. When you lift the heel, it sounds crazy, but it changes the stretch. So we put the front foot flat. The arm goes up, that increases the stretch. You bring the arm down. We take it off to the other side. And again, now my leg, I like my back a little further. That doesn't mean you will. You might like to have yours a little closer up. The arm goes up and that increases the stretch, which means if you don't want a deeper stretch, keep the arm down. Then you bring the arm down. You're gonna face the front, open your legs up wide. You're gonna slide the right leg out. Start with the stretch here, feel that stretch. Then take the right arm and make a long line from the outer edge of your foot. You'll see my foot kind of comes in all the way to my fingertips. And then you switch. So you're going to slide it in. Start with the leg going out. And again, you'll see my toes face front. That just kind of changes the stretch a little bit. Then the fingertips come up. And I'm trying to make a straight line from my fingers to my heel. And then you slide the leg in. It's your forward fold, wherever it works for you. We would bring ourselves all the way up and you're gonna hug your right leg. Here's that big hug, wherever it works for you. Now we're gonna cross. And that cross could be at your knees, it could be below your knees, it could be at your ankles. Once you have the cross, add a gentle twist. And I kind of use this to see if you can get a stretch down the outside. Then you bring yourself to the front. It's a figure four. And that means, can you bring your ankle over your thigh? I often will straighten my bottom leg. It gives me a better stretch than when my leg is all the way up. But sometimes you might even want to go below the knee. And the idea is to get this outward so you can stretch in your butt area. Bring yourself up. Here's this hug the left leg, wherever that is for you. We cross the legs. Again, you know where the cross works for your body. Add your twist. Face front, 
figure four, and here comes that stretch. And each side is different. What I do on one side isn't generally what I do on the other side. Then you bring yourself up. You can set the foot down. Take the right arm behind. We're coming into upper body. Drop the left. Drop the left ear. Big exhale. Let the stretch relax. Chest, shoulders, neck. Switching sides. Left arm goes behind. Drop the ear. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Lift the head up here. Reach your fingertips towards the ceiling. Drop the right hand behind. Lift the elbow up. Now you might be more comfortable coming across the front. Fingertips go up. Drop the left behind. Fingertips go up. Bring your arms right in front. Palms are down. And then rotate and tap your shoulder and then rotate and bring it back. So there's that little rotation. And this is going to catch, um, think, is it stretching for your elbow, which is why we have that little rotation here. Let's do two more. Then on the next one, keep it in. And let's press our palms together so we can stretch our wrists. There is a press of the palms, wherever that is. If you have a gap, that's okay. It's your stretch. But you're going to flip, take these fingertips down to the floor. And I'm kind of doing a little wave here. Clasp your hands, take some figure eights, loosen up your wrist a little bit more. Drop your hands to your lap. You're going to take a look over your right shoulder and a look over your left shoulder. Look to the front, drop the chin. It's how we started, but slide the chin to your right shoulder. Slide your chin to the left. Chin to chest. Right here, lift your chin to the ceiling. And this is where I say, have that string, pull your chin up, 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 up. Look straight ahead. Take one more little twist off to the right. Turn your head and now turn your eyes. Look all the way back over your shoulder. Now we switch off to the other side. I'm including the eyes because eyes are muscles and we want to use them looking off to the side. Bring it back to center. Drop your arms by your side. Take a big shoulder roll. Here's your inhale. Reach up, big inhale. Exhale, blow it out. We have two more of these. Reach up, big inhale. Blow it out, exhale, and one more time. Big inhale, reach all the way up. Blow it out. Thank you, everybody.